Six yep. kills. All right, in the coming, the coming. I like it. I this is working like a treat. I like. What's up, folks? Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days with Pixel Wives. So today. Uh, we are going to build a screamer trap. So uh, if I just come out of uh, first person view here. Um, so today I've already gathered the materials. The plan is um, to basically level because we keep finding terrible loot, right? So every time that we go looting, um, we always get like tier four and tier three stuff, aren't we, Pixel Wife? It's not great loot, is it, that we've been getting? No, we haven't been getting really what we really would like to see at this point, but... but. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, to try and make us level up a little bit better, here are our tasks today. So, I'm gonna let Pixel Wife do what she does best, and that is to go shopping. Right? <laughs> so I'm gonna send her off on a little trip uh, to every single trader. Uh, so we have Trader Hugh over here and we have uh, Trader Jen all the way down here. Basically to go to all the traders and buy out all the learning elixirs and all the dog food. And the reason for that is because um, I have one point available. If I go into strength and go to Master Chef, I have one point left to put into Master Chef. I'm hoping, now I've never done this before because I never thought I needed to do this, but today is different. If I put a point into this, will this make me... Yes, okay. Now I can make Grandpa's Learning Elixir. And I did look at the recipe before. I've got dog food, uh, red tea is on the go, we've got acid, and we have beer as well. So the red tea is coming nicely nicely um but we want more we want more and um, basically gonna make a screamer trap and just farm the screamers or at least the zombies that the screamer screams uh, as as much as we can and i have a location to do that so we're gonna go all the way down here not too far away just to this flat area uh and we're gonna build a little mini mini kind of horde base for us to summon the screamers. So, Pixel Wife, do you have your dookies? Do you want to go grab the dookies? I already got them. You already got them. Have you got some gas mm -hmm. for your gyrocopter? Yes, I do. Okay, right. Go go on then. Show me how to fly the gyrocopter. I think you might have to take it outside. It, it is a little bit cramped in here. Hey. Now, I don't right. think I remember how to do this, so... <laughs> this is why it's going to be funny. Right, so you want to put it down so it's facing down the road. See if you can do that. Okay. See if you can do that. Okay, okay. Okay, right. So, to fly it, okay. You have to press W to lift forward, okay? Shift to go faster. And I think it's uh, space to keep... I think it's like space to go forward. I can't actually remember. There you go, right? And then, remember, when you're in the air, W is to tilt up, and then S is to tilt down. Oh, the way she goes! Oh, so, God. Yeah, that's it. And then you got to level <laughs> off with S. That's it. There you go. And then you turn. Oh, you got to keep You got to keep going forward. You got to press forward. <laughs> All right, try that again. Try that again. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you got it. Got tilt forward, tilt forward. Keep pressing forward. Keep. Oh, that's oh. it. You got it. Oh yeah, that's it. That's oh. it. You oh. got it. You got it. I think so. How okay. Do, how right. do I? Oh wait. How do I turn? Yeah, that's it to turn. <laughs> that's it. Great. Yeah. But it's like it's a little bit lag before before. I, <laughs> just going down. Look. <laughs> so you got to oh. tilt up, right? Tilt up, and that's the direction that you're gonna go in, right? And then S is to tilt down if you wanna land. Right. Okay, I think and it's C A, anyway, B. not S, but yeah. Uh, is it C? Yeah, it might be C actually. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So you're going to you're going you're gonna crash now because you're. <laughs> oh, there's a screamer. <laughs> Where's the screamer? I can hear it. I don't know. Okay. Well, yeah. Get get get. Ah! <laughs> Basically, you have to tilt so you're you're kind of level. Right? So W to level and then C to like press down, like to tilt down. Okay, okay, hold on. 
Why is it so difficult? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's not it's not the greatest mechanics in the world. But you'll get there. You'll get there. We'll make a pro helicopter pilot out of you, yeah. So yeah, try that again. Just popping it out. So when I press W, it goes forward. When I press yeah. shift, it goes faster. And when I press yeah. uh, space, it goes yeah. up. And then C is to level it out. Okay, all right. Well, you do that then. All right. So you're flying now, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. See you later. Enjoy. Okay. Right, you, and then when you have enough speed, you can open a map a little bit. Uh, so you can see where you're going. Okay. Okay. You're okay. going to be okay? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. See you guys. <laughs> right. I might just crush a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Remember, you want dog food? Learning elixir and beer if you can get it, okay? Yeah. All right, and then in the meantime, I'm going to deal with this screamer wherever she is. Right here. Right, and then I am going to make the uh, learning elixirs that we can make. So let me just grab the red tea out of here. And if I just do learning elixir, there we go. We can make a total of eight learning elixirs. That's four each, okay? Uh, and then we already have, I think we have one in here already. Yeah, we have one in here already. And then whatever Pixel Wife has, um, is going to come back with. Right, so whilst that's cooking, that's not going to take very long at all. Um, and whilst Pixel Wife is flying away, is she even going the right direction? Where is she going? Oh, she's going, are you going to Joel's first, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, good. just stop at the closest. Okay, good. Right. So, um, while she's doing that, I'm going to grab all these rebar right here. I'm going to grab some uh, cobblestone as well, just in case for some weird blocks. And then I'm also going to grab all this concrete right here. Right. And then I'm going to take this and go over to this little location. And uh, we're going to build a nice little screamer base. So I'm at this new spot. Uh, the reason I've chosen this is because uh, it's quite open, really. So when the screamer screams and then the zombies come along, um, they, I don't want them to be, like, stuck on anything. Uh, so they might be a little bit stuck on that building over there and maybe this building over here. But overall, uh, over this side it's all empty and over this side it's kind of open as well. So what we're going to do is basically build a little base on this spot, right? And then once we build it, um, we're basically going to light it up with a load of campfires because campfires produce a little bit of heat. Um, and then we're also going to fire a load of guns. So um, I don't know if you remember a couple of episodes when we came back after a, a little hiatus. Um, we actually, we made screamers appear whilst we we're doing the shotgun messiah. And the reason for that being is every bullet that you fire causes an event so it's a little bit like cheaty science here that you're gonna see but if you're in like uh if you're in uh, admin mode and if you press f8 twice you'll get this heat junk generation thing right so here's something that you can do at home if you fire a gun you can see one shotgun equals one percent and one event melee doesn't do anything at all so um everything most things that are in the game produces like an event and adds to the heat chunk Okay, and once this gets to 100, a screamer spawns. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to basically put a campfire down to try and produce heat. Um, I'm not sure if it's the actual campfire burning or it actually has to cook something to make the heat chunk um, go up. But if that doesn't work, we're just going to fire off 100 bullets and hopefully we'll get a screamer. But before we do that, Let's go a bit about and build the actual Screamer base. Oh heavens, what's happening? Wait, is everything all right? Not really, it just landed in water or something. Oh no, where are you? It's all right, I'm... I'm... Wherever. <laughs> In the You're middle of desert. <laughs> where are you? Let me, let me see. Where are oh, you? Vultures are coming for me. <laughs> oh, you're over there. Okay. No, right. I'm trying to figure out which way I have to go. Uh, north or northwest. Yeah, yeah. I'm just... You got it? Yeah, leveling myself. I'm, I think I'm trying to go to Jen. You're trying to get to Jen, did you say? Yeah, I think... Is it? Oh, I thought you already been to Jen. Oh, it's east. Jen is east. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck. Thanks. The head east. <laughs> just built the mini horde base if you like the screamer farm uh, and what i've done here is it's a typical walkway along this side and then on here um i thought i'd go for something a little bit different rather than just having blocks but this is a uh, 50 pillar uh going all the way across and for no reason really i just decided i wanted a little bit of like a I don't know, make them into like a ballerina or gymnast even to try and balance across here. I think they have more chance of like falling off either side when we do this. Uh, and then I put two blocks here. The reason is, is um, I'm going to put sledge turrets here. One for myself and one for pixel wipe. And then when we put it down, when they start running across here, they're going to get punted off and then they have to run all the way back around again. So no, no cheese, just a bit of a loop. And then inside... Uh, another thing that you haven't seen before, uh, we have a normal uh, ladder here. Now, this was a little bit awkward because I think it's actually one block higher, but I couldn't risk the chance of putting a ladder right here or else they crawl up. So instead, I've just put a little block here that you can just jump on onto that ladder. Bit of a weird terrain thing. So inside, typical uh, kind of horde base design, but except I've done little wedges on the outside. Just in case we get a, like a screamer walking towards us, they can actually see us as well. Uh, and then what I'm going to do at the top here as well, um, in case we get vultures, but I, I very, very rarely see vultures uh, in Screamer Hordes. But uh, in case we do, we may put some spikes up here. And what I've done on the side as well is some like fireplace, fire, uh, like campfire wings. Uh, each side has 15, so 30 campfires in total. And then when we're ready to start, we literally just light them up. Um, if you, if we light them up, we should see, yeah, one event and that's gone up at a little bit percentage. So that's just one campfire. If we light them all, we should get screamers, no problem. And then just to speed up, we can just fire off a few rounds as well, uh, to get up to a hundred percent and hopefully we'll get a scream to spawn. But yeah, so that's been built now. Now we just got to wait for Pixel Wife to return back and I think she's on her last stop now. She's on her way back, aren't you? Yes, I am indeed. Yeah, coming. Uh, how did you... How did you find it? Uh, not so great. It didn't have really anything. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. No learning elixir. None of them. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I guess we just have to make do with the four each that we have then. All right. Well, let me get back to base. Uh, I'm going to put some materials back and then we're going to also put the um, sledgehammer toys back here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Welcome back home. So um, how, how was the shopping list? What did you get? What did you manage to get? Well, I would like to say I'm bearing gifts, but not really. All I have got, I already popped it in here, but only four dog foods, one cat food, and five beers, and uh, that was it. Is that it? Not even a actual learning elixir as well? No, none of them had one. Rubbish. Absolutely waste of time. <laughs> Rubbish. Okay, well, never mind then. Uh, we'll keep that. So I guess we'll just use the eight learning elixirs that we already have. Uh, that should be more than enough anyway for a little bit um, of like screamer farming. Um, now, what I have found is that we're actually lacking one robotic sledge. So I'm just in the process of actually making one. So let me see here. I just need 40 uh, forged iron and also, what was that? Four robotic parts. Easy. One, two, three, four. Well, that's five. And then we'll get the forged iron that we have over here. Yep. Like that, uh, we'll make a robotic sledge in one of these. We'll just use this one. Wait, uh, sledge. We'll just make one there. Uh, that's going to take a few minutes. So once that is done, we'll head over to the screamer farm and um, light some fires. Right, we are here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my sledge turret right over here. Pixel wife, you can do the same thing as well here. There you go. And then Pixel, can you put yours okay. anywhere, like, next block? Uh, I'll try my best. All right. Oops. There you go. Great. So if they run across here, they're going to get punted by the sledge turrets. And then there's nothing else to do but to light the fire. So Pixel, if you want to come up here. I do indeed. All right. You want to take that side? I'll take this side and I'll, uh, <laughs> let, yeah, there's a lot of crap fire. <laughs> what's, what's happening here? So yeah, start from the back. I recommend starting from the back. Just turn them all on. As you can see, the events are already starting to go up. So we've got 13 events. 
Uh, and we're already at like 45%. So hopefully, we should get a Screamer soon. I hope this works. Oh, this oh, this will be a big waste of time. <laughs> so that's done. So it's already cycled once. Did a Screamer spawn? Yeah, look, already a Screamer spawn in the console. So, we, so if we go down, let me see. So Pixel if you want to get ready. Uh, yeah, here yep. she comes. Here she comes. So she's going to come down now. Come up. She's go we're gonna let her scream. She screams. We're gonna get. Yeah. She gets punted down, and hopefully we get zombies. Yeah, we got another. Yep, yeah, another screamer coming. Awesome, awesome. So if we go down now, kill Sorry, every other. <laughs> yeah, kill every other zombie apart from the screamer. Nice. So um, we can let them scream a little bit as well. We don't actually have to do it straight away. We can let them build up if you want. Oh, she died as well. That screamer died. I didn't want uh, her to die. No. She's a bit... Uh, that's she's all a right, bit flimsy. More <laughs> <laughs> she was getting put to the whole my life. Brilliant. Yeah, amazing. So this is going to happen now. We're just going to let them build up for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> We're just going to let them build up for a little bit. And just keep let her keep screaming. A few moments later... Oh, what's that? One, two, three, four. I think four one, scream. two, three, five, four, five, six five, screamers. Six, I, uh, six yeah. screamers. All right, they're coming. They're coming. I like it. I like, this is working like a treat. What you think? What you think about when you're born into a fire? Let them burn. Let them burn it out. Sell them to the richest buyer. They want to let. Actually, is a queue like going into supermarkets <laughs> for toilet paper. If they, if people are desperate for toilet paper, this queue would be there. My only problem is they are not socially distancing. <laughs> stay, safe, stay, stay safe, folks. Stay safe, folks. Stay safe. All right, let's uh, turn all the fires off then. 
Right. I think that was very, very productive. We got uh, quite a few levels from that. Let's just check how many levels we've got. So we've uh, turned all these off. So all the campfires are off. Uh, so let's just check how many levels we've got. So <laughs> what level was I at before? <laughs> Wait, I, I guess the easiest way to find out is I've got, I've got six <laughs> points. Mm -mm. How many did you get? I got four points. I know I leveled four times four times okay so i level six seven so we got to game stage 165 i think it was a, a 159 i think so we're over 165 and uh yeah we we leveled six oh i leveled six times but i think this is a pretty pretty uh pretty successful screamer horde base i think don't you think i think it went really yeah, no. well yeah, yeah but obviously we've got a lot of yellow bags let's loot up and see what we got so this is everything that we have. Again, loot is not too crazy uh, though, but we did try to level up as best we can. I mean, we got a level 1 SMG. What's all that about? What's all that about? Uh, we did get level 6 military boots, uh, level 6 SWAT helmet, and a level 6 steel sledgehammer. That's kind of nice. I'm not sure if I could use that. It has a slow swing speed. So I'm not sure if I would be able to use that, but got two night vision goggles, but nothing, nothing too crazy again. But hopefully... Hopefully, with the added few levels that we've gained, uh, maybe when we actually go do proper looting, um, we'll get some proper loot. But anyway, uh, let's go back home. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as well, and pick some wife last words. Thanks again, guys, for sticking by us, and see you in the next episode. We'll catch you in the next one, folks. Oh, and by the way, we managed to hit 500 subscribers. Yay! Thank you very much, folks, for your support. We'll catch you in the next Thanks. one. Bye!